Last time on Cyberfile. We summoned the four giants to stop the moon from falling, buying us precious time to chase Majora's Mask, now unbound and planning the destruction of all. Hello and welcome back to, dare I say, the last episode of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Randomizer with Cyberfile. Um, this, this is it, I think. Um, I would really like for it to not be it, simply because then we'd have exactly 40 episodes instead of 39, but I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be it. Um, so yeah, we're, we're off to, uh, the last two mini dungeons. This is the Zora one, and this is by far the worst one. Um, basically it's just a guessing game. So you go down these tubes, right, and you have to guess left or right and if you guess right enough times you'll get the heart piece and if you guess the other ways you'll either start back at the beginning or you'll get to the end where the the kid is so I believe this was the wrong route yeah so yeah isn't this fun isn't this a good idea for a mini dungeon doesn't this utilize the Zora's abilities so well I know I'm being harsh, but like, come on, man. I am basically just guessing, by the way. I have no idea where I'm going. What if this whole episode was just 20 minutes of me trying to guess where the piece of heart is, and then trying to get out of here? Wouldn't that be fun and entertaining content for you guys? <laughs> uh, maybe I should have went left at that last fork. Probably should have. Um, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is probably just speed up past this portion, because the Majora fight's gonna take some time, um, and I wanna try and squeeze both fights in here, um, because I said before, I want to do both the, um... Eh. I want to do both the, um... Okay, so this is the end. This is not what you want. I think if you talk to him, and then tell him... Don't give him any masks? You can go back and he'll still be here. I think. I hope. Otherwise, it looks like we're loading save state, boys. Um. Yeah, okay, he's still here. And he should take you back free of charge. Okay, um, so I'm going to speed up to the part where I get the piece of heart, and um, I'll meet up with you guys then. Oh, um, I think I was, I think I didn't finish my thought before, but I want to fight Majora's Mask both with the Fierce Deity Mask and without. If I was smarter and, and thought ahead a little bit more, um, I would have... Uh, I picked the right way again. Um, I would have bought a bottle of Chateau Romany, which gives you infinite magic for that cycle, and it makes uh, the last encounter a lot easier, because um, you can use your light arrows freely, you can use Fierce Deity Mask freely without having to worry about it. But uh, whatever, yeah, so I'll catch up with you guys when I get the Zora piece of heart. Hey! Alright, found the piece of heart. Okay, now all I have to do is find the exit, and seeing as I got the exit like three times in a row before, I think I have it memorized where it is. So, uh... Let's see. Uh, 
Uh, no, I guess not. Now that I'm actually looking for the exit, I'm not going to be able to find it. <sighs> okay. We are finally done here. Let's find uh, three more masks to cough up. Sure, sure, sure. This kid's so greedy. The right thing. What is it? I wonder. If you do the right thing, does it really make everybody happy? Alright, and on to the last one. The... The Link Dungeon. And for that, we're gonna need... Four masks to get in. And this one's all combat, which is kind of cool. All combat and actually a little bit of bomb chew use, if you can believe it. The only time you use a bomb chew in the game, minus the Honey and Darling shop. Very strange. Link Dungeon. I think I'm gonna break out the Great Fairy Sword for this. Okay, lots of magic. And rupees for some reason. You definitely need those. Dino Foal. One, one Great Fairy Sword hit kills a Dino Foal. <laughs> Isn't that great? What's next? Ooh, Gera Master. <laughs> Two Great Fairy Sword jump attacks. And you gotta walk away from him because he blows himself up. Garrow style. That, that reminds me, we didn't even see a single normal Garrow in this playthrough because I completely ignored them. But basically, if you put the Garrow mask on in Icona Valley, uh, you can talk to them and they'll give you hints on what you need to do. Okay, got some arrows, that's good. I think we're gonna need them for some upcoming mini puzzles. Ooh, Iron Knuckle time. Iron Knuckles don't fuck around, man. Three Great Fairy Sword hits? I really wish I could get some, like, there we go, C targeting. Yeah, five Great Fairy Sword jump attacks. I don't know if we needed all those jump attacks in the beginning. It might be based on number of hits to get his armor off instead of, like, damage. I'm not sure. But, uh,. Alright, 10 bomb chew. Now here's where things get a little rough. Uh, let's, let's see. There should be a crack on the wall here that we gotta hit with our bomb chews. And I think actually... I think you can actually hit them with your arrow to force an explosion if you're not an idiot. Uh, maybe you can, but... I think it's just a matter of waiting. Nice. Very nice. Okay. The classic Zelda eye switch. And we can move on. 
And I'm pretty sure this dungeon just gives you the, um... The piece of heart, yeah. Okay, so we got our piece of heart, but now we need to break that with our bomb shoes. I held on to that one way too long. That's not on target either. Shit, we only have five more bomb shoes. If I fuck this up. Um, I don't know what happens. That was three flashes. Whew! I was really nervous. Um, <laughs> do not like having a limited number of tries to, to do this. Uh, but we did it. Oh yeah, and look, we have our- that was our last piece of heart ever. We have all of our stuff. That's it's time to give up our last few masks. Oh, you know what? I have to take the bunny hood off. No. There we go, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to give it to him, I think. There you go. There you go. There you go. Um, oh, right. And the last one. The blast mask. I hung on to it, I don't know, in case we needed... Oh, no, I'm not going back. Come on. There you go. Your true face. What kind of face is it? I wonder. The face under the mask. Is that your true face? I do very much like the themes here on the moon. Alright, so that's it. It's done. We got rid of all of the masks that we worked so hard to randomly find. Now it's time. I think what we're gonna do is make a save state right here. That way we can fight Majora twice. So, save state. Okay. Everyone has gone away, haven't they? Will you play with me? You don't have any masks left, do you? Well, let's do something else. Let's play good guys against bad guys. Yes, let's play that. Ho oh, ho 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 baby. Could this mask's dark powers be as bad as Majora? Are you ready? You're the bad guy. And when you're bad, you just run. That's fine, right? Well, shall we play? Here we go, guys! Gonna go ahead and whip this bad boy out. And I think I'm gonna just put these on my quick bar in case I need them. Hopefully I'll have enough magic power to not have to worry about it. This fight is so cool. Majora's Mask. No subtext, no nothing. Just Majora's Mask. Let's go, baby! Oops. Why did I take it off? Man, I, I, uh, I made this really uh, anticlimactic, didn't I? Okay, so... Fierce Diety Link can just... Destroy Majora. Like, boom. Phase. Part of phase one already over. Because he can shoot beams with his sword, and the sword's super strong. So he can actually kill these things in like one hit. Where's Majora? Boom. Phase one done. I'm not sure if the magic power is based on um, how many attacks you use, or if it just goes down over time like the giant's mask. I fucking love this. It's so disturbing and so awesome. Majora's Incarnation.
Boom. Get fucked. Oh, baby. Majora's Wrath. Oh, little spiky boy. Boom, and that's it. That's uh, Majora's Mask done. Uh, the Fierce Deity Mask totally trivializes that fight. Like, how easy was that? But no, I'm not going to let you guys see the ending. Because we're going to do it the proper way this time. No Fierce Deity. Just our wits. And no other masks either, now that, I'm in, now that I will mention it. Because you don't really get a good sense of what that fight is like when you do it with the Fierce Deity Mask. Um, because you just, boom, here, have a stun beam from my sword. Boom, fucking die to my crazy strong god body. And like the Fierce Deity Mask, is that like an evil god? Because he mentions... He mentions the dark... It be, you being the bad guy. And the flavor text mentions it being like a dark power. So, it's pretty cool. It's like Majora's Mask's equal, but you can control it. Let's see what Tattle's got to say. Remember your battles. When something was resistant that would deflect your weapons, what was its backside usually like? Yeah, so light arrow is not going to do anything. We got to hit the back of it. I think with light arrows, it might not matter, honestly. There we go. Wow, one great fairy mask, a uh, great fairy sword jump attack brings out the the masks. So it's a good idea to take out these masks. I think they each require um, two hits. And now that I mention it, I don't have any healing um, like potions or anything, so I need to be a little bit careful. There are some jars over there. I saw before, when we were Fierce Deity, that they had magic power in them. Arrows and magic power. Hopefully those come back, because, ouch. So this is cool, you can deflect his beam back at him. And you can also deflect it at the, the other masks too, which is pretty cool. Oh, fuck, missing that was not good. Okay, so... Uh, having bunny hood would be really nice here. I think we're just gonna investigate. Ah, fuck. Too slow. You kind of want him to do the beam, um, because it's just free damage you can get on him. Fuck, dude. I'm missing all of my light arrows.
Okay, cool. So that's phase one. As you can see, much more challenging uh, without Fierce Deity. This episode's also going to be a longer one, but I mean, it's kind of to be expected with a finale. Remember your battles. When you fought things that ran around, didn't you battle them using your own body? So yeah, if I had some magic power, this would be great, because I could use, uh... I could use Goron Link. Ooh, man, that, that, that phase did not stand a chance. This next phase, on the other hand, is, is the badass. I mean, it looks the most badass too, so... What do you expect? I love the whip hands, they're so cool. When you had the chance before an enemy was about to attack, didn't you usually try shooting it? So yeah, you gotta arrow him, and then get in. Which is not always an easy thing to do. Oops, did not mean to access Tattle there. Um, cause if he hits you with that whip man, he's gonna, he's gonna give you the business. And it hits like, the whole arena too weird spiky top thing. Nice. There we go, guys! Now that's how you fight Majora. Um, if I had full magic power, the second phase, I would probably transform into a Goron and roll around with the spiky ball and, and try to hit him a little bit. Um, but if you can corner him and just spin attack, you win. Like, spin attack is so good in this game. Like, against almost anything. I think I'm gonna put my controller down here. Because we're done, guys. The power of LGBTQ has destroyed the moon. Thanks, Alphabet Soup. Weren't we on the moon? Are we- are we dead now? Dawn of a new day. In white instead of- in, in white with black text instead of black with white text, which is pretty cool. And you know what? I think there's some dialogue that I do need to- yeah. Ah! He's awake! Remember the story about the giants and the imp? Yeah. You guys... You hadn't forgotten about me? No. <laughs> you still thought of me as a friend? They're so cool. I mean, they're a little disturbing and strange, but I do love their song call thing. Oath to order. Can we just talk about how cool that collection of words is? Oath to order? Like a promise to keep order? I don't know, that's pretty cool. And why they need to come from the four corners? I don't know, I, I think it's neat. There's a lot of cool shit in this game. Did you... did you save me? 
I thought they didn't want to be friends with me. But they hadn't forgotten about me. Friends are a nice thing to have. <laughs> Could you be my friend too? I'm walking like he took a dump. <laughs> you have the same smell as the fairy kid who taught me that song in the woods. What? Remember that Majora's Mask? This is the same guy. The same little imp. It's so cool. I know, I know. Let's do something. Oh, so the evil elves left the mask after all. Well now, I finally have it back. Since I am in the midst of my travels, I must bid you farewell. That dude's supposed to be modeled after Shigeru Miyamoto. Shouldn't you be returning home as well? Whenever there is a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. However, that parting need not last forever. Whether a parting be forever or merely for a short time, that is up to you. With that, please excuse me. But, my, you sure have managed to make quite a number of people happy. The masks you have are filled with happiness. This is truly good happiness. And gone he is. Well, both of us have gotten what we were after. So this is where you and I part ways, isn't it? You know, it was kind of fun. Well, it's almost time for the carnival to begin. So why don't you just leave and go about your business? The rest of us have a carnival to go to. Can I just talk about how bullshit that is? Like, oh, leave, you don't even get to enjoy the carnival for the land that you just fucking saved? Bullshit. Thank you. Kind of a somber ending. I love it, though. This game's about making friends, dude. Well, we did it. We beat the randomizer. We sure did randomize. Let's see the little story bits. Um... Why why is Link playing as Mikau? Did Mikau come back to life somehow? I mean, it's got all the red stuff that Link has, so... Link decided, instead of leaving, I'm gonna fucking jam. I'll go to the carnival whether you want me there or not. Got the pirates sticking around like usual. What even is that building supposed to be, by the way? Why does it have a hook at the top of it? Is it supposed to be like a bomb? I don't know. I wonder why they decided to show you the Zora stuff first. These are the ghostly heads of those guys that we beat. Taught us the Elegy of Emptiness, or what have, anyway. These are Deku Royalty and Monkey. I like how he's got a little loin leaf to block his little Deku dick. There's the postman. Coming back, because I think he initially uh, 
What's the word I'm looking for? Evacuated. The Rosa Sisters using their new dance. Now, full disclosure, I've never beaten this game not getting all the masks. So I don't know if this ending is different if you just do the bare minimum. Yeah, that'd be something interesting for me to see. If you just do the absolute bare minimum, what's the ending look like? Only do what you have to to beat the game. Pew, pew, pew. Look at that sharpshooter. I think it's funny that they just use the adult and kid models of the same character from Ocarina. I mean, there's a whole theory that this is like Link dying and coming to terms with it. I won't fully rehash it here, but it's an interesting theory, and if you're interested in it, look it up on YouTube. This, this game definitely has themes of, of death, you know, the five stages of death or whatever. So it's pretty cool, pretty interesting. Definitely worth looking into if you like Majora's Mask. This is the first game that I've beaten on LP since the dawn of Cyberfile and doing uh, Salt and Sanctuary. It's kind of crazy. There are many more to come, I hope. I hope you guys look forward to my future content. I, uh, I do have some plans for scripted videos, I've just been so busy with work and with setting stuff up. Luckily with this uh, Thanksgiving break coming around the corner I'll have a little bit of free time. So that'll be nice. There she is, and she's not wearing that creepy ass mask. Angie. Not quite best girl, but pretty great. I don't think we ever get to see Adult Cafe, though. Uh, they probably never even made a character model for Adult Cafe. So that's like the son of the Deku Butler, who we inherited the Deku Mask from. Who's dead, or whatever death means to a Deku Scrub anyway. And actually, this whole intro portion is completely skipped in the randomizer, so... But we're back in the foggy woods that we would have started the game in uh, before Skull Kid stole all our shit and whatnot. But it's time to ride off into the distance. I like that little piano. Best friends. Forever. There's a little Lost Woods tune. Because that's what we taught uh, the Skull Kid back in Ocarina of Time. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed this Let's Play, and I will see you guys very soon in the very next one. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more Cyberfile content. And if you like this video, show me with that little thumbs up button. If you liked this video, you might like one of my other videos. You can click right on the boxes to jump to them. Cyberfile, offline.